Good evening. This is Catania Alvin speaking from London. This is part seven of the Smart Meters and EMR, The Health Crisis of Our Time by Dr. Dietrich Glingard. Excellent, excellent. We start with Bob Becker's quote. I have no doubt in my mind that at the present time the greatest polluting element of the Earth's environment is the prolifer proliferation of electromagnetic fields. I consider that to be the far greater on a global scale than warming, which is an actual nonsense, and the increase in chemical um, elements in the environment. That was Dr. Robert O. Becker, MD, twice nominated for the Nobel Prize. Here we go. And then the smart meters came along. Now, let me talk about the smart meter. The smart meters are sold to us with the idea that uh, the electric companies can feed back to us uh, what rooms in our house and what instruments in our house are using excessive energy and that the company will make some suggestions how to moderate our electric consumption so that our home is more green, it doesn't contribute to the use of electricity so much. That's what's being sold to us. But in fact, what we're getting when we have a smart meter on the house is a report that shows just three days ago you used that much electricity, period. The electric company can tinker with the data that it's collecting and actually find out, oh, look, you know, that every Tuesday and every Thursday uh, they have an electronic babysitter because nobody is at home to sit the baby. They can figure out how much your TV is using. They can see the signature in the frequency pattern that is there and they can and they're actually selling those data to the community to to advertisement so it's a business you know it's a business that does not serve currently the waste factors at all the reduction of energy usage now the smart meter sends an impulse microwave impulse at 900 megahertz um, between 17,000 and 190,000 times a day listen to this. your home for the entire home. And that radiation can be over 600-fold measured it of the, even by the EPA, and the EPA set standards of what's acceptable, and these standards are way, way too high for our biological health. And we measured homes where it was up to 600 times above the standards that are set, which are way too high to start with, 600-fold. So, uh, what, what happens with the smart meters, there is a router that sends the information back to the electric companies and whoever has their home closest to the router, that smart meter becomes a transmitter for the smart meters that are further away. And that smart meter then becomes a source of much, much increased radiation, microwave radiation that goes into the home that is sitting on uh, at levels that we measured that were up to 600 times higher than even the high level that the EPA sets as acceptable. And here's what we've seen. One of my patients, a good friend of us, um, had a husband with uh, Parkinson's disease who was doing okay for many years. The smart meter was installed. Within weeks, the patient has a dramatic downturn in brain function. He was no longer able to walk. And six months later, he died. My patient, who had recovered from Lyme disease 10 years ago and was in very stable, good health, the moment a smart meter was installed, her health went down and she can no longer sleep any night. She has a constant feeling of vibration in the body. She feels like she's losing her mind and she had to evacuate her home to save her life. She moved back in with family members. She has a beautiful home here in Mercer Island in Seattle in the richest, wealthiest area in a home that you can no longer live since the smart meter is there. Now we're trying, me as a physician, I try to explain to the electric company that, uh, you know, that they're destroying the health of the patient. The electric company, of course, tells us, well, there is no laws overseeing the electric company is completely given free reign as far as we know, the smart meters were never studied for the safety for humans. 
it's a it's a technology done by private companies these electric companies private companies that have the right to install this on your house destroy Shocking. your health and there's no accountability at all for it so this is just one case we have many cases where children had recovered from their learning disability uh, talking of accountability let me point out here here you've got the in power movement because this was put up by them in power movement so go and check out in power movement because there is a notice of liability that in, in canada has been um, developed and you can look into that in the uk one is being made specif specifically for the uk um, so go and check out that. I should think also one for the United States and maybe other countries as well. So we've got to take our power back. Okay, so that's in power movement down here. The link is down there and check that out. From their autism, from their asthma, brain cancers had healed. They were non-detectable. The smart meter was installed. Within six months, the brain cancer is back. It was considered healed. The, the seizure disorder was back. The autism was back. Or children, usually the regressive form of autism, children are born normally after the third or fifth or sixth vaccination when they're 18 months old. Suddenly they have the downturn where they lose what they've gained. They lose their language, they lose eye contact, and they're bad. You don't see that with eight-year-olds, but we do. Children of a completely normal eight-year-old school, everything's good. Suddenly the child turns autistic, loses everything it's gained, including the language. An eight-year-old, where we find out the smart meter was installed by the house. So this technology is for a lot of people absolutely devastating. We do not know yet whether it's affecting everybody. Just some people notice it and other people just die quietly. Yeah, we have there is this myth of electrosensitivity. Electrosensitivity and electroallergy are two different things. You know, it is our experience as physicians that everybody is equally electrosensitive. You install this thing, measurably certain things in your health go down. You know, we, we're tracking now, I say it here on TV, certain sensitive parameters of it. One is an inflammatory marker called TGF beta 1 goes way, way up as soon as the smart meter is installed. Uh, the MMP9, that's the metalloproteinases, go way, way up. These are inflammatory markers. The copper level in the serum goes up. There's a sign of chronic inflammation driven by something that's suddenly there. Um, the hormones go way off. The neurotransmitters go way off. So we have lab tests that we can show. Here's a patient, we monitor him for 10 years before, he was completely normal. The smart meter was installed six months later. The patient looks like a dying patient from the lab work. And we find those changes even in people that say, well, my wife is sick since the smart meter's in there, but I'm totally healthy. But we look at the lab work, it looks just as bad. You know, That's so some interesting. Some people have an awareness of health and goodness in them, and other people don't. But from what our experience is that everybody is affected by it. It's not just a few 3% of electrosensitive people. Listen yeah. to that. So Everyone I is think affected. I'd like to make that point here very clear. This is a devastating wrong technology uh, that is, in the first place, completely not serving the purpose under which it's sold to us. It seems to be a marketing tool. It seems to be a, a, a tool to spy on people's homes uh, for advertising purposes. We do not see any positive outcome that anybody has been informed of. You know, yes, you, every time your swimming pool goes on, your electric consumption goes up threefold. There's not the information that the patients get. They just get the general, yes, on Friday you use that much electricity, that's all you can get, but it doesn't give you any of the details you need to actually be constructive with, to reduce your electric consumption. It's not serving that purpose, but it is destroying the health of a lot of people and of course, for me, the main people that are affected by this is the children, and amongst the children, the unborn children and the fetus, the, the womb concentrates electromagnetic radiation multiple fold above what is measured on the outside of the woman's body. That's it. God bless. I'll put the next one up. Catania Alvin. Bye-bye.